Hundreds of teachers and students gathered yesterday outside the State House to call for catching up with the full cost of education reform. Last year, a commission said there should be at least $1 billion in new state funding to meet rising costs and to help close the achievement gap. Yesterday's turnout was calling for education funding at all levels, from kindergarten to state colleges. We're a very diverse campus, and there are so many diverse schools across this um, city, but so much money is being taken away from campuses that are serving marginalized communities the most. And like those communities need the help the most, and yet money isn't going towards them. It's being taken away. It's our number one obligation, really, as a society, is to invest in the futures of all of our children. And we're failing our children, which is kind of one of the worst measures you could have of a society. We know what it costs, we have the money available, but we're unwilling to provide it. When our kids don't get the same resources or appropriate resources for them in school, then what happens is they don't go to college at the same rate as their peers, um, they fall behind. They don't contribute in the same way to our Commonwealth, and it's really a responsibility of our Commonwealth to make sure everyone gets a solid public education, and right now they're just not getting it. This foundation formula has not been changed or updated in 25 years. That means whole generations of students have not had the opportunities and the public education they deserve because we have not had the will to change the formula. So it is beyond time to get this done. We cannot afford to have another generation of students or another year of students not getting what they need.